Hey, how's it going everyone? What is up? And welcome to my Flash Spellings video for this week. Uh, so, shameless plug real quick. On my Twitter, I usually post updates about videos I'm going to be doing or not doing. Um, earlier on my Twitter, I said I was going to try to get an Arrow review out late. Uh, that's not happening. It's way too late because people just went to sleep and dogs just stopped barking. It's bullshit because it's 1 in the morning. So... Uh, as much as it pains me to say, we aren't going to be doing an error review this week. As much as I loved the fucking episode, um, we're just not going to do it. Uh, so anyways, that moves us to the Flash bonus video today and the error video tomorrow. Just to be sure that I can get it out, I'm going to record it right after this no matter how tired I am. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the Flash video almost a minute later. So anyways, on this topic today, we're going to be talking about Joe West and whether he's going to die or not. And this is a video I've wanted to make for a while. There's not too much evidence besides like common sense and noticing things behind it. Or at least in my opinion, there's probably someone who's written a seven a seven page blog since I wanted to stutter so bad there uh, about it. But yeah, we're just going to be glossing over it. Uh, some things I picked up on like last episode near the end. And just some all over like comic book cliches. So yeah, let's get right into it. So we're going to be talking about what I caught from, well probably a lot of people caught from uh, last episode. So I'm pretty sure Wells has an idea that they're investigating him. Or not Wells, but Aylbard. Wells, Wells or Bard, whatever. He has a pretty good idea that they're investigating him because Joe was earlier investigating him. Barry's acting weird. And now they're doing some secret shit that he almost caught Caitlin and Barry with. Um, and in the scene, um, Wells invites Joe over for a drink. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ, if Joe accepted that, he would die. Because, I mean, you just think about it. It's like, you know, you're getting closer to uncovering me. Come over, let's have a drink. I totally won't kill you. I don't know if it's just me over-exaggerating it or if other people have caught going to it. But it definitely gave that vibe of, you know, this, if you come over, you know, if we're going to have this sleepover, you're not waking up, okay? It, it definitely had that vibe for it uh, in that scene. And it was, it's overall kind of scary because Joe is like one of my favorite like dad characters on a show. Like he's the only one who's portrayed like a good dad on a show that I've seen. Supernatural, the guy was an ass. Uh, Arrow, the guy died in episode one. Uh, and The Flash, the only dad figure that's really around is Joe, and that's a cool change because superheroes in these TV shows don't usually have fathers. And even if they do, it usually ends up bad for them. That's where this video comes from. But Joe, or uh, and Jesse something, Whoever the actor is, he's a really good actor. He portrays a good dad character to a character that's not even his son. And I just really enjoy it and it really frightens me that he might die. But he very well and probably will die. Unfortunately, it is a superhero cliche to kill off the parents for some god unknown evil fucking reason. So I do believe he will bite the dust by the end of the season by Reverse Flash. Um, Reverse Flash already threatened him, um, in episode, like, five, and then it was in, or, episode six, and then he, like, choked him in episode nine, uh, so he's willing, he's ready, willing, and able to do shit, so, yeah, I do believe this will be the Tommy death of this season, uh, this will push the Flash to grow, and Barry to grow as a person and a hero. Teach him to do better and do as Joe would do, I guess, if he had super speed. Can we just take a second to imagine Joe running around in the Flash costume at super speed? Okay, now that that's over, we you just have to think about, there's no other real character that they can kill off. They can't kill off Caitlyn, she's Killer Frost. Can't kill off Cisco. he's Vibe. Can't kill off Iris, she's the love interest. Can't kill off Eddie, he's a future villain. Um, and can't kill off whoever else, I don't know. Joe's the only real option to me, and it would make sense and really be smart if they killed him off, kind of like how they did Tommy. Like, he is a inadvertent death, 
in the season, but he's still a death, and that still pushes the hero and the person behind the mask to grow. Um, and it would be sad, but ultimately it would fit and i honestly think that's the route they're going so yeah that's what i have to say about that i've wanted to make this topic for a while like i've said in my almost minute long intro i'm horrible about making long intros and short outros for some reason probably long outros too because i sit here and ramble as i'm doing right now but anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end off the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to go record my error bonus video so I can make sure to have that shit out uh, later, technically, today. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about this topic in the comments below. Let me think. <laughs> let me think. Let me know who you think will die instead of Joe or how Joe will die or if you think Joe will die. Anyways, see you guys on the next one. Peace.